So this video is going to be about making yourself an administrator or the owner of your server. So the first thing we're going to have to do is create a new class file in the server. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we put it. We're just going to place it somewhere. We're going to name the file something like settings.java or permissions.java. I'm going to name mine permissions.java and we're going to create a boolean to represent the owner, which is going to be uh, self-evident when you see what it is a uh, boolean is just a true or false value if you aren't using eclipse to do this uh, make sure to compile most servers come with a compiler if if uh, if you don't have one in your server I, I would just recommend getting eclipse uh, you can watch my previous video on how to set up a server and that'll tell you all about getting that started up so I'm opening up Eclipse and I'm going to navigate to my server and I'm just going to go into the first folder that I see class files and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new one. So to do that, it's pretty easy on Eclipse. I'm going to name it permissions and it already formats it for me and I'm ready to go. So in order to create a class file, with uh, the stuff that we need to set the permissions of our account, we need to have a boolean in it. So we're gonna make a public static boolean is owner, and we're gonna take in a string, and we're gonna return false by default. But if name equals my name then we're going to return true and it is important that this is public static that way that we can call this method anywhere else in the server so what this says is it's going to take in a string of, of uh, a name. It's going to check if that name is equal to this. And then if it is, then return true. Otherwise, return false. And that's all we need in our class file. So go ahead and compile that. If you're on Eclipse, it's already compiled. We can move on to the next step. So for the next step, we're going to have to start up the server. And we're going to have to look for some messages that we see whenever we first log in. And then we're gonna search the server for those messages and then we're gonna implement something to give ourselves rights and permissions on the server using our permissions code class file. All right, so let's start up the server. I'm gonna go ahead and close off everything that I have. We're gonna leave our permissions fold, uh, file open and I'm gonna go start up my server. If you don't know how to start up your server right now, then once again, you should go watch that uh, previous video and it should cover all that. So now that the server is loaded up, I'm gonna go ahead and start the client. And now that I'm in the server, I see that there's a couple things here. Well, first of all, these messages showed up and we're not gonna worry about these because these aren't really in most servers, it's all custom. But this right here, you might see a trigger when a person logs in. So, um, also, you can see here that it's welcome to Autoscape 718, and uh, my name's here. <laughs> so, what we could do, well, really, we could do, we could look for this, or we could look for this message in here. What we're going to do is we're going to look for this welcome to message, and 
I'm gonna go ahead and search that. And we're gonna go and look at a couple of them because, well, there might be a few. And see, this one looks sort of like it, but it's not actually it. This is uh, an item and there's some other fields here and well you don't see these when you log in so that can't be it and then well okay so this looks like it this is it so what we'll do is now that we found a spot I'm gonna go ahead and use this and say okay if permissions dot is owner and we're gonna use get username we're gonna create a bracket and close off the bracket let's see So Eclipse automatically uh, allows you to import. So I'm gonna show you how to import. Really what that is, is at the top of your file, whoops. At the top of the player file, you're gonna have to go all the way up here to imports. And you're gonna have to find out in, in your server. So you're gonna go from SRC, COM, RS, permissions, right? So com rs permissions. I'm not gonna include this SRC and you can use other things to tell and make sure. Now see if you're on Eclipse if you're on Eclipse it's it's really simple. Usually it'll automatically do this for you. But it's important to import it. So And there's also an alternative, and I'll show you that as well. So, once you have your if statement here, it, it, right underneath your message, the next thing you do, you, next thing you want to do is set your rights equal to two. Okay, and that's because most servers have the administrator rights equal to two. Now, it very well may be possible that the owner's rights may be three on your server. And it's also possible that the owner might actually have rights too, but their username uh, controls a bunch of special, special owner commands. So what I would recommend is, uh, because it's very uh, different on every server, is that maybe you find the previous owner's username on the server and just search for that throughout the server and just replace whatever account you want its name on there but alas that may not be possible this is this is the more sure way of giving yourself rights so once you set your rights to two under your message and because I already have rights to and there's really no way for me to I'm gonna go ahead and I think it's just I'm gonna add a little message. All right, and I'm gonna log out, log back in. And you can see the messages there. Now here's another important thing to remember. If you didn't notice, I didn't need to uh, turn off the server and turn it back on. And that's because I'm in debug mode and Eclipse, which is also another really cool feature because I don't have to restart the entire server every time that I want to make a little change. So once you log in, you should have your permissions set. And if you need to restart your server, then do so. Yeah, if you don't actually see anything change, then restarting the server is probably your best bet. If not, make sure that um, your username here is, uh, you could use this little trick. You could say uh, to lowercase 
right? And make sure that it sets the whole username completely to lowercase and make sure that you don't have like any spaces in your name because it could show up as like an underscore, for example, or a space. It really depends on the server. So, and just have your name lowercase in here. So yeah, I mean, it's really that simple. Um, it's not much else to it. And personally, I have a settings file. Uh, I have a bunch of extra security type things and all of that nature, but permissions is a start. And it also kind of gives you a little bit of uh, experience in making new classes and creating your own methods. So hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. If you liked the video, leave a like. Thanks.